craft nerds, how's it going? So um, it was recently David Bowie's birthday on the 8th of January and to commemorate that um, some cinemas were playing the Labyrinth. So we went to see the Labyrinth on a big screen. It was a lovely outdoor cinema up in Belgrave which was great. And I thought I'd share a little bit of that with you. It's like my all time favourite movie. Um, Brian Froud, who was the conceptual designer for um, all of the creatures and sets and things like that, is my favourite artist in the world. And so um, I absolutely love this movie. And um, I also, for a previous Christmas party at work, created a costume. Um, I dressed up as Sarah from the ballroom scene, which everyone who knows the labyrinth is familiar with. Okay, so I'm going to try and show you the hair clips that I created for this costume. Now, I had made the bulk of these already. Um, they were actually uh, ones that I made for my wedding. And I actually did base them on her hair pieces to begin with anyway. But I actually uh, modified them a little bit more um, to make them even more like her hair pieces for the costume um, after the fact because uh, I didn't want, for my wedding, I, I wanted them not too costumey, I guess, but then um, I was happy to add some additional elements 
uh, for the costume and in fact now that I've um, put those elements in um, I love them even more so uh, I'll turn around and I'll try and show you I can't see what you're seeing so hopefully this is in shot I may need to film them separately as well um, but you can see like there's crystals and things hanging down into the hair and at the back I put you know ribbons and things to hang into the hair and if you have a look at her hair in the um, footage it is very much um, like mainly sort of leaves tucked under her hair and you know wispy um, almost like wires or um, tendrils that are sort of looped into her hair and everything so I wanted to sort of capture that look um, myself and I wanted some that really dangled in the hair um, and I went all out I did add some leaves in there as well and but then I also have a much more elaborate um, hair piece at the top so still very much with leaves and things in it and then I don't know if you'll be able to see that but I did put some leaves up the top as well um, I spray painted some leaves silver that are on wire that can be folded into the hair and things um, so again I'll try and turn around and show you a bit more Along with that as well, I also, um, I actually bought a 80s style wedding dress from eBay to start with um, and it was uh, mainly, I was looking for something that had the big poofy sleeves like she had um, and a ball gown style of dress. So I found one that was I think $100, um, you know, still up there I suppose if you're doing a costume but you know this was something near and dear to me so I just wanted to lash out and buy one um, so I'll show you in detail uh, how I put it together okay so I'll do my best to show you how this sort of came together um, it was a lot of trial and error to be honest because I hadn't done anything like this before when I bought the dress it was entirely white it didn't have that silver section there. Um, that was created with different paints and, you know, I tried all sorts of different things actually. Um, Perlex powders, um, I think I used spray paint at one stage, inks and things, a whole range of different things that I trialed. Uh, mainly I think in the end it was Perlex with a um, mixing medium that I have uh, and almost like a varnish but just like a it wasn't Mod Podge but I can't remember what the name of it was but it was just like a clear medium that could be used um, on fabric and so I used that honestly though I'm not sure how well this will wash um, I've been too afraid to test it and I've only worn it once and for this video so um, <laughs> I, I suspect some of this may wash off if I put it through the wash um, over this like the initially had um, there was like flowers beaded flowers in strips um, along the bodice of the dress so I removed those because I didn't want them on there uh, I added lace onto it and beaded the lace and as you can see um, it's sort of gold pale gold almost champagne um, and silver 
beadwork, which I think looks really pretty. Um, so it originally had all of these sort of flowers everywhere. And I left them on these sleeves because I thought it was fine on there. Um, then none of this beadwork was there. Of course, I added all of that onto it. So you've got, you know, Swarovski crystal um, sew-on components uh, in, I think, is it um, Golden Shadow, I think is the colour name for that one. And um, I really wanted to add a lot of bling to the front of the dress, I believe her dress. It was difficult to get some really clear um, shots of any detail of her dress. So I just, you know, went with what I thought looked nice um, and an overall aesthetic of what her um, dress looked like. So you can see as well, I added a lot of, I don't know if that's showing up actually, I added a lot of um, sort of holographic or iridescent glitter. Again, I used um, medium that uh, was for adding glitter onto clothes and things. Um, I found a few glitter spray paints that are for use on clothing and um, meant to be machine washable. I am still, I am still scared to wash it though regardless of that. Um, now it obviously wasn't perfect like you can see there's some discoloration in sections where I've sort of tried different um, sprays or different powders and things and it hasn't quite worked out um, but I guess that's you know part of it you know you experiment and try and put things together. Uh, I did beadwork on the wrists as well which came out very nice. Now one of the things with her dress is it's gathered at the front. So I'll try and, try and show this. Um, so I gathered it up. Um, I used a sewing machine for this part. So I just um, folded it, pinned it and you know made it into um, like quite a gathered section here. And then I wanted to embellish that and you know uh, did some right angle weave embellishments. Uh, I did get this pattern from a book and the name of it is escaping me. If I, I'll, I'll look it up and I will note that on the video. Um, some great right angle weave, weave projects. I think it's, is it Beads and Beyond? No, I don't think so. I'll, I'll link it anyway. Um, so that's all gathered at the front there. As you can see, I actually unfortunately realised I did it on the wrong side of the dress um, to mimic hers. I don't think it's a massive deal, but it did bother me at the time. It was because of being stupid and looking at myself in the mirror and so um, not um, accounting for that and yeah anyway um, it was too late it, it was well and truly sewn in because um, I went over and over that with the sewing machine it's never coming out so it would have been a nightmare to take out so I just left it and look unless you were really finicky you wouldn't probably remember um, so that's basically it if I can find a picture of the old dress that I bought so that you can see what it originally looked like. I'll try and insert that uh, because it did turn out very different um, to the original dress. Now to go along with that I got this massive um, chill uh, underskirt and this I got from eBay. It's something like nine layers or something. I got I wanted it to really um, boof out and be a complete ball gown look. So this is essential to get the, that look. Um, I actually spray painted it silver because I wanted the silver colour to show out the little gap um, where the dress is gathered. And I don't know if I'll be able to 
show you, but on that section, which I need to find it, um, oh, here we go. The section that I knew was going to show through that gap of the dress, I just put some little embellished um, lace flowers on there so that, you know, you just get this nice look of flowers. Um, it's obviously not all the way around, but you know, you might assume that it is because I've, I've put them in that spot. So you can see my dress sitting there in the background, um, hanging up on the wall there. Um, to be honest, it actually doesn't fit me anymore. I've put on a little bit of weight and it's all gone to my cleavage and uh, I can't do the back up anymore, unfortunately. Uh, so the little try-on that's in the video is um, a bit strategic. I don't show the back, obviously, of the dress because I couldn't do it up. Um, but anyway, look, I hope you enjoyed that and, you know, if you like my videos, I'd love you to subscribe. I've got plenty more creative things to bring your way. Um, so I hope you tune in next time. See you, craft nerds.